kindergarten students, we are going to be doing a drawing of a flock of sheep today. And this is something you only need a paper and a pencil for, but if you have a Sharpie or a marker or a pen, you can use that too. Um, I would suggest if you do have a pencil, though, start with pencil first so that if you make a mistake, you can erase it. I'm going to start with a Sharpie just so that it will show up better on my example. If I make a mistake, I'm just going to work with it. So uh, today's goal is to really focus on showing the texture of our sheep. And we know that texture means the way that something feels. And if you've ever touched a sheep or seen a sheep, you know that they're really fluffy and puffy. So when we do our drawings, we're going to try to show that fluffy, puffy texture. Okay, so I actually have a finished drawing right here of some sheep, but I want to go through it step by step with you. And you remember that your drawings never have to look just like mine. Okay. So the first step is to draw the sheep's faces. And I'm just going to draw a letter U for each face. And I'm going to put them all over the page. There's two sheep faces, three, four. They can be turned if you want. Five. I'll do one more. Six. Okay, so I have six letter U's to make the faces. Now I'm going to draw the ears on the sides of the head at the top. And they're a little like a wide oval. I'm making them kind of pointy on the ends. Okay, so now all my sheep have ears. I'm going to give them all eyes, and I'm going to show a bunch of different ways you could draw eyes. You can make them however you want. You could do them just as dots. If your sheep is sleepy, you can draw their eyes closed. You can make them really wide, big circles. Maybe the sheep is really surprised. And I'll do some semicircles for the sheep's eyes. He looks unimpressed. And I'll do some oval eyes. And I'll do some swirly eyes. Maybe the sheep is a little crazy. Okay, so now all our sheep have eyes. We're gonna give them a nose. That's like the letter V. And then for their mouth, you can draw a little letter W underneath. Or you can just draw a line like that. You know what, I have a little mistake right there, so I'm gonna actually turn that into a little tongue. Maybe he's sticking his tongue out, make some little lines. <laughs> okay. Okay, at the top of their head, we're gonna draw some curly lines to show that their heads are fluffy. You can also do them just as a loop like that. And there's no rule for how many bumps you do, just whatever looks good for your sheep. Okay, so now they have fluffy heads. And to do their body, we're going to draw around each sheep um, an oval or a circle, and we're going to try to make it look fluffy. So there's a lot of different ways you can do that. You can just go bump, 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 bump like this all the way around. You can also do little curls like that. You could do waves like that. Hmm. You know what? If your sheep are really close together, they might touch or they might overlap, and that's okay. I'll make this a swirly sheep. And this poor crazy sheep, I'll have him, maybe he's kind of going off to the side here. Okay, so now they all have bodies. And now the fun part is figuring out what you're going to do with their legs. So sheep legs are really easy. You just have to draw two lines and then a little letter W for their hooves. And if you want, you can fill them in to make them black. I did that on my first drawing, but to speed this up, I'm not going to do that for all of my sheep. 
So these legs are going to be straight. Maybe this sheep is standing up nice and tall. But I can also do the legs so that a sheep is laying down or he's jumping. Maybe this crazy sheep is, is jumping. So I'm going to curve my rectangle backwards and I'll do the W for his hooves like that. And then I'll stretch his legs in the front forward so it's like he's looping. And maybe this sheep that's sticking out his tongue, maybe he's laying down. Mm, let's put his legs, they can be laying down forwards like that. Sheep do have a tail. They're not super long though. I'm not going to include them. Well, I'll, I'll do one tail just so you can kind of see what it looks like. Maybe I'll put it on this one. But they're so short it might not be worth drawing. So there's a little tiny tail. It's just a little fluffy nubbin. Okay, so I have three more legs to do. Let's, let's get a move on. And if you run out of room, Maybe one sheep is standing behind another sheep. Sheep do like to be really close together. The sheep looks like he should have his legs crossed. Maybe he's mad. Uh oh. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to say this one's back legs are kind of behind this other sheep here. Okay. So we've got our whole sheep. Now all that's left is the texture to make them look all fluffy and puffy. So I'm going to make lines on each sheep like this. I'm going to do curly lines on this guy to make him look like his wool is really curly and puffy. And I'm going to do some little bumps around this guy. I'm just trying something different on each sheep. I did wavy lines for this guy, so I'll try wavy lines again to show that he's fluffy. Okay. I'll give this guy some more curly lines. He's extra puffy. Maybe that's why he's so mad. He's too puffy. Okay. And then the last step, once you've got your sheep in place, is to draw um, a line called the horizon line. And that's just going to separate the ground from the sky. So I want my sheep standing in a nice grassy field so they have something to eat. So there's the grass in the background. And I'm going to draw some little lines so that my grass looks nice and soft and delicious for sheep. You don't have to fill in the whole field. I think your hand might fall off if you try that. Um, I'm just doing them here and there so that people know that it's grass and not, say, a parking lot. Okay. If you want to include other things like little flowers for your sheep or a little sheep dog that's looking at them, you can. I'll just put a little flower in right here just for fun. I hope the sheep don't eat it. Okay. Um, after you've put in whatever background details you want, like clouds or sun, you think you've filled in all the details, you're going to sign your name in the bottom corner. And that's the end of your sheep drawing. I hope you have fun.